we are on part three. This is the third jewelry jar unboxing. Oh, isn't that such a sweet little cap? It's so cute. All right, I have, oh, okay, beads are rolling away. So we have some crafting items in here. We have, ooh, I love that, love, love. All right, let's take more out. This piece looks older. Looks interesting. Oh, it's so beautiful. Here's the cufflink. Ooh, it has like a banded agate and a bamboo frame. It has the bullet back. And then I just look on the inside here and it does say cremant. So this is most likely gold filled. Another one? Another sulpata. And this one's a little bit different. It has like kind of like stud, like, I don't know, it's a little bit more pointy. We are on part three. This is the third jewelry jar unboxing. And I do get jewelry jars often for my reselling business. I think the biggest reason is because it is fun. <laughs> like it makes the it gives it a little bit extra to your everyday experience because thrifting or going um, picking, I guess some would say picking for reselling uh, can get a little bit of like the same process, but getting something like a mystery lot or a jewelry jar is like, oh, I wonder what kind of treasures I can get and it also forces yourself to learn. So if you're new to reselling, watching jewelry jar unjarrings specifically really helps you learn about the process. And if you are able to get one yourself, you're able to take the time and research just random things and see what's selling on eBay or online platforms or even like what you might want to put it in your antique booth. And yeah, let's get into number three jewelry jar. This is the final jewelry jar of the jewelry jar marathon. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, last jar. The last one was pretty good. It was $16, this one is 15. So we had some, we had that Austrian piece last time. We still have the earrings over there from the first jar. Uh, I'm not holding my breath <laughs> that there's going to be any matches, but we'll see. There's this big giant piece on the top. Feels a little thin and there's a lot of tape all around it. So let's get this piece off. Um, what are you? Okay. That is what that looks like once we get the tape all, all off of it. It's like just stuck in everything. Um, all these chain pieces. Yeah. Sorry for the crinkling. I'm pretty sure this is not vintage. Let's see, is there a lobster claw? Yes, lobster claw, super shiny, sh shiny. Oh gosh, I was thinking of like made in China. Oh my goodness. Shiny and not like, not high quality, but it is a statement piece. So, you know, if it was super heavy, it might be uncomfortable. So we'll just see what the maker is here. Um, Mika, M-I-K-A, no idea. We have like a slinky chain here, but this is a very big piece. It's like a breastplate. <laughs> Let's put it up on our bust. We actually still have uh, the stone piece from last time. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure that you watch it because that this piece is kind of epic, very heavy, wow. Okay, so we're going to put that one up, our breastplate of um, bling, no, breastplate of something. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it actually is kind of cool. Very statement-y. This would be really cute under a blazer, actually. Hmm, okay. Or a long duster cardigan. You guys tell my style. That's how I 
<laughs> that's how I dress. All right, this used to be grape jelly. Let's pour this out. Oh, isn't that such a sweet little cap? It's so cute. All right, I have, oh, okay, beads are rolling away. So we have some crafting items in here. We have, ooh, I love that, love, love. All right, let's take more out. I'm seeing earrings, but that kind of makes me sad because I feel like there's not going to be matches, and I see good earrings coming out. <sighs> okay. There we go. Empty jar. Okay. So, let's start with this piece looks like it would be perfect for crafting looks like it was like a button or something it's plastic interesting flower perfect for crafting not going to be selling oh did I mention make sure you have your yes bin your maybe bin and your no bin and that will help you uh, make choices faster while you're sorting especially if you guys have a bigger lot to go through some of you guys are buying 150 pound lots over there <laughs> this one definitely is not but i've done it where i've purchased big big lots before okay so this one was 18 dollars, and it does feel like leather so let's see is this a choker um, there's a, there's a rhinestone missing. There's something happening here. Um, I mean, it feels high-ish quality, but it's I feel like it's too far gone, and there's no maker's mark. If there was a maker's mark, you know, do you guys remember? I think it was that Hawaii unboxing where there was like things that I thought were like just junk. Just pieces that was like a bangle, the plastic bangle, and the, that eye bracelet that actually turned out to be designer. So, but this one doesn't have anything on it. So I'm probably just going to harvest the rhinestones. This piece looks older. Looks interesting. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, this buckle. I don't think it needs another piece. I think this is the whole buckle. Oh, do we love this? Oh, look at, I mean, it's not, I think it's resin or plastic. I think, I, I don't think it's metal. This part is metal. This part, I don't think is, I think it was made in a mold. But this is a definite yes. This is a very beautiful buckle. I love it. Yeah. I don't think it was meant to have another part. It, I might have need another part but I think you could just like you know hook some leather on and then this would just have to go into wider holes if you know what I mean and I've had belts that have those wider holes so yeah I'll put that in the yes and then let's look at this wow look at this little Millie Fiori beautiful pendant isn't that so pretty? And it has little stars. So I believe these are called like canes of glass. You can see like the depth going all the way from one side to the other, like canes of glass going all the way through. And then what does it say on here? It says AMV. I'm not sure what that means. I don't think it's like gold filled or anything like that, but this one is a yes. I love it. We're going to put that on a chain and I will sell that one. Um, clip on earring, which is absolutely outrageous and really cool. <laughs> would that be fun? That actually would be a really good brooch too. I'm starting to get ideas. We're just going to make brooches out of everything. Yay. This one looks West Germany. If I had to guess, feels like that lighter weight, I don't think it's called aluminum, but I think it's something similar to aluminum material. I'll, I might be able to put it up on the screen for you guys. Um, here's the backing. Definitely an older clip. That's for sure. Pretty sure this is West Germany, though. We'll put that over there. This one is very yucky and tarnished. Butterfly. Eh, that one. That one's going to be a no, no from me. Okay, we have super cute beads, though. 
They're plastic. Wait, are they beads? What are they? Because there's a hole in the back. Oh wait, no, I have no idea. No idea right now what I'm looking at. Ooh, we have this beautiful um, glass earring and it has some of that aventurine, that goldstone looking sparkly glass in there. That's called aventurine. That one's really pretty. Um, we have this earring that says NRT, which is Avon, a little bit more newer. These are just plastic made to look like, kind of like a geode. So we'll see if there's that match. We have, oh, is this a goldette? Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, look at the little bezel crystals. Oh, please, 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 please be in here. Um, it's not marked, but this definitely has the style of a goldette earring. Wow, I love that. I, oh wait, there's a patent number in there. Please be in there. <laughs> please, please. If any, if any earring is in there, I hope it's that one. Okay, we have a leaf brooch that's missing a pearl. Let's see. If you're coral, then maybe I can put a pearl in. It has the uh, shiny, kind of globby backing that coral has, but I don't see a mark in there. So, I don't know. We're, we're just, we're going to put that in the maybe. We have this ring made out of seed beads. That's kind of cute. Put that in the maybe. We have this little charm. That's a boy. He is wearing a blue shirt with a blue rhinestone. He kind of feels like pewter. Um, no mark. We'll put that in the maybe. I have no idea. Is this an earring? How are we wearing this? Like this. I don't know. It's very dirty. I don't, eh, no. I'm just gonna say no. Uh, oh, there's cufflinks in here. Okay, so this, um, broken. So we're gonna put that in craft. Um, oh, yes. Love this. This is very, um, who am I thinking of? Uh, what is her name? I think it's Chipita. The Chipita earrings. These handmade statement where they like sew the leather on the back with the seed beads surrounding and framing this. That is so cool. I really hope the other one's there as well. Otherwise that would be a great craft piece for sure. This one is Avon. I've sold this a couple times. It's just an earring. I think I put like breast cancer awareness in the title as well for something like that. Um, we have this that looks maybe coral, no mark, but really pretty. Here's the cufflink. Ooh, it has like a banded agate and a bamboo frame. Has the bullet back, and then I just look on the inside here. And it does say cremants, so this is most likely gold filled. Um, and if there was another one, I would definitely sell them cremants, especially men's jewelry. Does really well for me. So I really hope that that one's in there as well. But if not, you guys are learning something, right? We're getting some good learning opportunity from this video. What is this? Is this... What, what am I looking at? Is this to hold your keys or something? Too small to be a bracelet. I feel like I'm ignorant, but I feel like my husband would wear something like this because he always has been the kind of person to use one of those hooks that you need to spin. And then he hangs his keys on his belt loops, which is the most attractive thing in the world. I don't know if you guys can hear my sarcasm, but he does that. So I feel like this might be something along those lines. So I don't know, maybe I'll give it to him or something. That will be a maybe. Um, what in the world? It's stretchy. Oh, you know what this is? It's a bracelet. And then you do one of these numbers here. 
So that's what that is. Very loose. So this would be really good for craft. So what that is called is a slave bracelet. I don't know where the name came from, but that is what it's called on places. <laughs> okay, we have a money clip. Pretty sure this would sell. I have no idea what this is though. CS. No idea. What does it say here? It does say something. It says... Oh, LGE Sterling. Wait. Sterling? What? Okay, so if anything, this would sell. So you guys, sometimes when things are branded, I still put it up. And guess what? Sometimes it actually a lot of times it sells and I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to try Google Lensing this. See if I under if I know what this even is. I have no idea. No idea what this logo is but it's a money clip and I think I've sold every single money clip that I've ever listed, so yay. All right, this looks like such a good earring, doesn't it? Just from just from the back, it looks so good. Oh, oh my gosh. This looks very Chanel, Givenchy, high quality, very much in that style with the mogul colors, let's see. There is a mark in there. What does it say? It says... Alright, so I found out what it says. It says Mares Maresco. M-A-R-E-S-C-O. I've never heard of it, but I just like literally Google it, or Googled it just to make sure I was getting the right thing. Uh, yeah. They have a look, and they're gorgeous, and you can tell that they are high quality. We have 78, we have 94, 57. Let's see if there's any more. Moresco earrings, Etsy. We have these for 45. We have these. Ooh, look at those. 45. <laughs> I don't think we have the match, but... So, you guys, I've been, like, doing this thing where when I have really high-quality single clip-on earrings, I'm just, like, keeping them. <laughs> I have a problem. But I have, like, a pile, and they look so lovely. Maybe I can craft with them. I don't know. But I just feel like I can't, like, I can't, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing it with it right now. All right, we have, ooh, look at this. Look at this little clippy glob. Little cloud guy. He has that spun silk, I think, fight, right? Is that what that is? No, it's not. It looks, or is it? You know, like, those spun silk beads? I don't think it is. I think these are just shiny. Shiny, interesting beads. Yeah, no mark, but I don't see the other one, but we'll put it over there just in case. All right, we have some matching earrings here. Woo! Some little studs. And let's see if these studs say anything here. So first I'm gonna look at this back because sometimes if they use nicer um, little backings, it could mean that the earring itself is nicer. Okay, the back says nothing. And this also says nothing. I don't think that these are anything. Let's just grab my magnet. Where did it go? Oh, it's way over here. Uh, I think it's magnetic. Okay, so these are going to be a no. No, no. Um, we have this. Oh, look at this clip on. This also feels like West Germany. Let's see. Are you marked? Yep. It is marked right there. W Germany. And it's very lightweight. This would, uh, these would sell so well if I had the match to them. Oh, boo. Okay, well, I can't say boo yet because I don't know for sure. Okay, we have this clip on, Monet. Yep, Monet right there. And you can always tell by the shape of the back of the clip on. Feels very high quality. Look at this earring. Little frosted bobble doodad. Okay. We have this swirl. No maker's mark and yeah, I don't think, yeah, no maker's mark and the the gold and silver tone is very much lost. But we have these. These say sterling. Okay, we have a little bag that says sterling with 
a matching earring set. Well, that's that's a good sign. Let's see, does it say? Yeah, it says sterling on there. So these, I think, are genuine pearl. I'll, I have a lot of questions. Let me just test these real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I have a lot of questions in the, like the Facebook group of how you test real pearls. And so one way you can do it is you can rub two pearls together that you have on your pieces, rub them together. If they're really smooth and slippery, they are not genuine pearls. These are smooth and slippery. The better way to test, in my opinion, is to rub it on your teeth and to feel if it's gritty. Wipe it off first, um, feel if it's gritty on your teeth because I feel like your mouth area is like the most sensitive thing. So like it's sensitive, like your lips are sensitive to temperature, you can smell things, you can put, clink things against your teeth, like glass or stone or even Bakelite, like things have a different sound. And I haven't died yet, <laughs> you guys, I, I'm doing well. So I don't know, but these are not pearl, but these are set in sterling. So that is interesting. These might be like 1930s or 40s or something like that. Just by going off of how they're made. Okay, we have a lot going on here. <gasps> look at this. Oh, look at this. <gasps> look at this headlight earring. Oh my word. Okay, we're missing two pearls. I don't even care. It's just, can you imagine wearing these as a set? Okay, are they marked? These are marked SMB. Hmm. Okay, so I did take a look at what SMB was for this earring, and it is Sandra Miller Burroughs. And here are the glorious earrings themselves. And let me tell you, if you want to get earrings like this, I would say go for it. This feels high quality. So, yeah. Sandra Miller Burroughs, that's one to store in our memory banks uh, for high quality costume jewelry. Yay. So we are still learning through this process here. Shall we keep looking at earrings? Or what is this? Is this a sterling ring? <gasps> Hopefully, right? Ooh, it is. It's a silpata. So let me show you guys. Do you see that little arrow there? That's a silpata arrow. It says 925 sterling. This one's a little bit like a nine and a half, or I'm sorry, eight and a half to nine. Just a little simple band, worth it, selling it, yes, all day yes. Silpata sterling silver always does really well for me. So, yay. That one would be really great for stacking as well. So, okay, let's get some of these earrings over here. This one, this one. It looks like we have mostly all singles, unless they are attaching. <gasps> Another one? Another Silpata. And this one's a little bit different. It has like, kind of like stud, like, I don't know. It's a little bit more pointy. Um, and then this one, yeah, same size. Yay! So two Silpata rings. Okay, worth it, worth it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very lightweight wood, lightweight wood, stretch, craft. I don't do well with stretch. Okay, this one was $2. This actually looks like it might go better with something like that that we got from that one jar. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to put this into craft lot. Um, okay, so we have all these like really pretty earrings. Let's see if we can find any more. Here's one. Here's one that looks like sterling silver. We have a hook. This would be good to save for broken um, necklaces. Maybe it's one of these necklaces here, actually. Let's see. Here's an earring and then whatever this is. What is this? What? What, 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 what? I'm really confused. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> this is nothing. All right, so we have all these earrings and, ooh, this really pretty 
Melly Fiore glass bead. That would be super fun to craft with. This one is Japan. I think I've had a coral clip on earring that looked exactly like that. This one is nothing. This one might be Monet. Let's see. Yep, a little Monet stud, a little textured stud. Super adorable. That's really cute. Um, is this a snowman? A little glass snowman? Oh, he's so cute. That is so adorable. Um, half hoops. Oh, I love this little screw back guy, and he's a coro. Does say coro in the back. No match. Missing rhinestones. I will harvest those rhinestones. Ooh, we have a bracelet. No, earring. This is an earring. I thought it was a bracelet. Oh, in interesting. Huh. I've never seen an earring like this. It has multi chain hoops. Very interesting. This one I'm thinking is sterling silver and if it is I can use it as like scrap or, or put it in like a scrap lot, sterling silver scrap lot. And this is actually kind of heavy for if it is sterling silver. Oh, Look at how pretty these baguettes are! Are you marked? Ooh, this one is also marked sterling. Oh, I'm so sad. Isn't this pretty though? Little sterling silver screw back with baguette rhinestones. I might harvest these and then put the backing into scrap. We have this beautiful screw back. Again, you can take this off and make it a pendant. This part right here, this little heart. And I don't see anything else. Um, and then we have this little stud. Let's see. Are you gold? Are you a gold stud? I mean, it does have a gold post. And then we have this little pendant thing. Let's see. Uh, faux stone. All right, we have these necklaces over here, or whatever they are. What is this? We have this concho thing it looks all broken this will be craft maybe the concho would be a fun crafting piece I really don't want to break these so let's see let's pull them over and I don't want to break these so let's see how this works we have, all right, I am going to cut this elastic piece here. It's nothing. I'm just going to throw it away anyways so that I can get my pieces out that I want. And I want the vintage pieces. So it looks like this one is a hook. This one says Japan. And then it hooks right on the back of this. This might have been a repair or something. And then it has these faux pearls that look like they're losing some color. I don't know. I'll put it on the bust at the end to see what we think of it. Um, let's move these out of the way. This one looks so pretty. What's this? What is this? Oh, we have a little chain here. It looks like it was a part of one of those fish hook chains that's like nothing okay what is this this looks like it was faux pearl but it's all worn so and it does look like it was older at one point but this yeah not not rescuable I don't think oh these these feel so nice again the glass these are gonna be perfect for crafting vintage glass beads no hook perfect for crafting so that's going to be a craft and what is this another craft okay and then we have this really really long long piece here and I need to replace the the clasp which I can do but right now we're just going to do that it's missing the little pull lever thing but let me just put it around the bust for you guys to see real quick so we have 
long. So this could be like opera length or flapper length. Flappers tend tended to wear longer necklaces with their flappy dresses. So we can make one a little bit longer, one a little bit shorter. This one has the AB coated crystals, faux pearls, gold tone caps. So I want to definitely fix the clasp and then I will sell that. And then this one is probably going to be craft. So let me just try to hook it with one hand for you guys. Oh, and the beads are a little bit loose over there. Do you see that? It's not looking super promising. Although you guys know I love selling my multi strand necklaces. I think they photograph really well on um, a bust. So yeah. Okay. It kind of looks ombre where it's like shiny, more white, and then more cream, but I'm pretty sure it's discolored. I don't think it's meant to look like that. I mean, but look at how pretty that is. Just a classic faux pearl, multi-strand look. So the this is going into um, like a craft lot. Someone can use this for that. So yeah. I have no idea what some of these pieces are. A lot of it's going into craft <laughs> and a lot I have to think about. I did get some good pieces, but we did learn a lot. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously and putting my favorite pieces. Oh, why did I not put this in the yes? Where's the other one? Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously and i oh this one oh, look at that look at that right there make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously and i will see you guys next time bye guys i want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the patreon members thank you so much it really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel and if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy you can go to lilyworksreseller.com click on the jewelry collection on the website and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video also if you want to see what i use for my business you can click on the description below my youtube videos and as always you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel and also be sure to subscribe bye guys